Okay. It's recording. Hello! Hello, this is Glozell. This is the Glozell Green Channel where I'm answering questions. I'm always in a rush. Okay. I'm answering questions. Can you see me? Try to get some decent light. All right. So, question. This is from... Okay. Uh, the Paul Show Now. I'm trying to see if they say it's okay to say their name. Okay, I'm currently studying at the University of Central Florida, and I'm in my second semester freshman. I always wanted to be a musical theater major, like myself, like Loza, but my parents really don't agree with it at all, and they think that I need to get a real job and a real career so I can make real money and then do theater on the side. I just feel like I can't concentrate on any other subject at school, and I just love theater and music. Do you have any advice? I saw that you... Uh, did theater at UF, graduated, class of 97, BFA in musical theater. That's me. Okay, go Gators! Okay, and so I want to, to know if you think I should follow my dreams or should I settle for a realistic job? Okay, um, I just want you to know out of the people that were in my class before and after me, do you know how many people who support themselves completely by doing theater? Zero. Zero. I don't. I don't even know of. You know. I'm sure maybe somebody will say, "Oh, I do." You know. But for the most part, the ones that I know, no. They they do it on the side. They do it when they can, or they don't do it at all because they have kids and things like that. Uh, so I would say, especially if you go, because you're gonna need your parent support. Okay. When I'm out in California and I have a degree and I was teaching and I've taught at uh, college also, and I still need it. Uh, help from my mom for rent and stuff because things are very expensive and you got to start from scratch. We're talking car, um, someone to co-sign for your apartment, you know, uh, gas and food and you got to look decent and you got to show up to things and, and valet park. So I would say if you can get something in, something that can go along with it, maybe journalism or education, you can always teach and then do plays and auditions and things. You know, that way, your uh, waiter job could be something different than that, you know? So you can do both. You can satisfy your parents and satisfy yourself. And then move to L.A. or New York. Now, if you're just going to do plays, you can be anywhere. But if you want to make a big difference and you want that to be your main thing, you need to go to L.A. or New York. Okay? All right. So I hope that helped you out. And um, go with the flow. They want to help you and support you, you know, while you're in college. Get that degree and get into something that you like you know so there you go all right my name is flora and my boyfriend chris and i have been together almost a month now i like him a lot but the problem is my family does not know about him and i'm terrified to tell him because they would judge me and disown me i'm 21 years old and he's 20 i'm chilean i'm a chilean girl with a really strict family and my boyfriend is black okay so I'm going against everything they believe. Well, they don't believe in black folks because they exist. Um, but um, I don't think they care about his background because he's truly an amazing guy and I have, I have, that I've ever talked to and I need help. All right, if you're 21 years old and you're on your own and you don't mind your parents never talking to you again, then continue to do this. But if that bothers you, then uh, you have to stop. You know, is, is it worth it? For some people, yes, it's worth it. I know people who have married outside their race or outside their religion and their family has disowned them, and you know what? They were cool with it. And then I know some that after time, they start to, to accept it and it was fine. But you have to, you know, can you live right now without your parents? At 21, I don't know if you're out of the house and you're supporting yourself, blah, blah, blah. Because if you are, then you need to just let them know, like, hey, this is who I like, and that's how it is. So I, I'm thinking that if you care that much about your parents, that maybe you shouldn't date them right now, you know? And, and uh, you can't, you know, live for, for your parents necessarily, but if you are that concerned and you're still kind of young and I don't know if you're in school so I, I don't have that information but I would say um, you need to tell them I mean if you you don't want them to be upset with you then you can't date them you know if you don't care you know then date them that, that's but that you might meet a guy that's Chilean and they might not like him so that's that's gonna be up to you from person to person okay and sometimes it'll take time all right, for the most part, they might not ever come around, okay? All right, unless he's like, you know, rich, football player, basketball player. They, then people don't care. 
You know, you crazy unless that person has money. Then it's all right. All right. Question. Keep going. Hello, my name is Jonathan. I recently watched all your videos. I watched the one about 16 and pregnant versions, and I have a question. I have a similar situation. My girlfriend is 19, and I'm 26 years old. We're, we're both Asian, and we have a baby together. I said it like this because I wasn't going to say, but then maybe it makes a difference. I don't know. And we have a baby together. Our relationship is long distance. The problem is last year around January, we both got in a fight in public. Asians fight in public? Y'all acting like... Uh, black folks. Okay, which led me to get arrested for domestic violence in which my girlfriend told the cops out of anger that I pushed her, which I didn't, and she knows that. And, well, ever since then, uh, the judge has put protect a protection order on us, and I cannot contact her anyway, but secretly I do. And um, the problem is our relationship is not only the distance, but now the protection order and her anger issues. Um, I'm in love with her, and what should I do? Okay, so she's a liar, and she's got anger issues, and she's gotten you in trouble. So I'll, what, 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 what you, what, do you, what do you want? What you want me to tell you? That's okay. Go over there and get beat up and get lied on. You know what I'm saying? Because the next time, I mean, she's young and she's this. She's upset. The next time it's gonna be a pot. She's gonna throw something at you. She can lie and say you raped her. I mean, she if she's willing to do that and then, then she still gets you because you're secretly meeting with her. So I say the punishment for her and yourself is to make sure that she, you know, she needs to get some um, anger management classes. Okay. Because it's going to keep happening and keep happening and keep happening. And then we're going to see y'all in the news that somebody killed somebody. And then, and then the kid is living with somebody else. All right? So if she's that upset and she's that angry and she's going to lie to you and get you in trouble, put you in jail, mess. I mean, how you going to get jobs and stuff? Okay? All right? Well, maybe, I don't know if it's different from the Asian races, but you, you have a mark on your, your record, so to speak. And it's hard to get a job. All right? And they're, in, they're here in America. So think about that. I don't know why everybody, they, they love, honey, people love crazy women. All right, moving on. Oh, man, I'm sweating. Here we go. Problem. All right. And you guys, you can answer these questions for you, for them, too. I'm trying to do some and not make it too long, but whatever. Dear Glozer, my problem is with my mom. I recently found out, this is from Inger Third. My mom... I recently found out that she's been stealing money from me for about one month, and she's 49 years old, obsessed with makeup. She has about $2,000 worth of makeup and stuff. No kidding. I'm 17 years old. I have a bank account and around $500,000 in it. What you doing? Uh, and the rest of it's in my wallet. I recently had some money missing out of my wallet, of around $40. Okay, so he goes on and on to say that she stole it. What, what should I do? Um, if she was a crackhead, would you just leave crack, you know, in your wallet just hanging? Sorry. I turned it. Hanging around. Sorry. Okay. That's Chase trying to do his own thing. Okay. So, you got to hide your money. You got to make sure that she can't get to it. That's all you got to do there. I know it's sad, but she's got a problem. So, it, it's a disease. She's got to spend it. She's, you know, it's a self-esteem thing. I got to have this to feel good. So, you got to hide your money. And it, it's sad that it's your mama, but... Okay. That's, that's, just, that's what it is. All right. Next thing. Help. I'm in love with my teacher. He is wonderful. I am a guy. He's a guy and I love him so much. And what should I do? So I asked this person, this is Tower Offer or 101. And I asked him if the teacher, the male teacher that you're in love with, if he was gay. Okay. And he said, no. So what should I do? All right. You're not in love with your teacher. You are in love with yourself. Because if you were in love with your teacher, you would think, hmm, I don't want my teacher to get in trouble. I don't want my teacher to lose his job, you know? It's okay to have crushes because people have crushes on, a, on teachers all the time. But you really, you're uh, uh, in high school and uh, these kind of things happen a, a lot. And people get in trouble. And you're saying that this guy's not even gay. So there's really nothing you can do but just admire him from the far. Like, you know what? When I grow up, get older, I want to have a relationship with someone that reminds me of Coach So-and-so. You know, because I think he's a good guy and, um, I, you know, find those, those kind of qualities. But not try to get with that particular person and, and, and mess that person up. You know? Just think about that person. Okay? So leave them alone. And don't try anything, because that will put the teacher in an awkward situation. And uh, for the most part, someone's going to tell something, and it's never going to be the truth. It's going to get all mixed up, and the teacher's going to get in trouble. All right? Over and out. All right, I got enough questions to last me the rest of my life, okay? So thank you so much. And if you do have questions, got to go to Glozell Green, okay? Y'all sending them everywhere. And uh, that's it. I'm trying to do as fast as I can. 
and uh, let me know how it's going. All right, love you. Bye. Take care of yourself.